Hey there, welcome to a new tutorial series on how to create a full model house in Revit. So whether you're new to Revit or you're just brushing up your skills, this will guide you and walk you through everything you need to know on how to set up your project. Throughout this series, we'll cover everything from the basics of project setup to creating a full 3D model, all the way to rendering your project for presentations. By the end, you'll have a complete house model ready to use for your own project. So let's jump in into step one, setting up your project environment. First things first, we need to start a new project. Go ahead and open up Revit on your computer. When Revit opens, you'll see some template options. Think of templates like the foundation of your project. They give you a head start. If you're working on building a project, the architectural template is a good place to start. Next is make sure to name your project something easy to recognize, like house design. And don't forget to save it in a folder where you can easily find it later. So before we dive into the design work, let's make sure your measurements are set up correctly. Every project is different, so it's important to adjust the units based on what you need. To change the units, Let's head to the Manage tab at the top of the screen, then click Project Units. This is where you can choose your units of measurements like feet, meters, inches, or whatever works best for your project. For example, if you're in the US, you'll probably want to use feet and inches. If you're in Europe, you might go with meters or centimeters. So if you're working on something really detailed, you can set it down to millimeters or fractions of an inch. Next, let's make sure everything stays organized. The project browser in Revit is like your control center. It helps you find and manage different views, sheets, and schedules in your project. So to keep things neat, you can organize how your views and sheets are displayed. For example, you can group your floor plans, elevations, and sections in a way that makes sense for you. Revit also lets you apply view templates which are preset styles for how different views like floor plans or 3D views should look. Setting these up early will help you keep your project consistent so everything looks polished. So that's it for part one. So you already set up your project and in the next video, we'll start laying out the floor plan of our house. By the way, we heard your request for a complete guide to building a house model and that's exactly why we created this tutorial for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when the next video drops. Bye!